Welcome and blessings, fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So good to see you here today on the Priestess Prophecies with Priestess Melissa. We're going to get into a reading for our fire signs today. We're going to be using this week the Spirit of the Animals Oracle Cards. And then tapping into each one of our signs, Aries, and then Leo, and then Sagittarius to see what is going on for your energy today. We'll look into the past, present, and future energies. The Fool was turned over in this deck, the Lightseer's Tarot, which is what we're going to be using for our main energy clarifier. Then we will further clarify with the Vice Versa Tarot to see what, what is going on for each one of our fire signs today. Did you see that energy? It was like fighting me a little bit. And for each one of our signs, we will then see what is going on in the realm of love with our lover's oracle cards today. All right. Beautiful. Now do check out the daily readings. Make sure that you have subscribed and like the videos so that it helps to grow the channel and we reach more people out there, guys. Our more soul travelers. All right. Blessings to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. Thank you for these messages for this week moving ahead. Take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths and relax. All right, fire signs, fire soul travelers. Let's see what is going on for your energy this week with the spirit of the animals oracle cards. What is the main energy for the fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Show us what we need to know. Animal spirit. Coming out for you today is the cougar. Are you needing to be more assertive perhaps about yourself? And what it is that you truly mean about something is what this card could be indicating today. The cougar talks about assertiveness and says, in silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. So this is about using that fire in the right way. All right? Two, 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 to let others know exactly what you mean. Make, excuse me, making that decision and being resolute about it. Not getting choked up, perhaps. <laughs> that was a, a belch or a burp. <laughs> It is what I just had there today. But again, it could be relating to, ooh, and cougar, cougar is also the puma, all right? So this is all about that stalking energy, watching, being aware, silence, self-awareness, confidence, camouflage, cunning, courage, agility, action, artistic, observation, Completion of goals is all of is what is contained within the energy of this card. Those are the power words, if you will. So you could be on your way to completing a project or goal and you are needing to stay focused and maybe you're needing to tell others, hey, I need you to step off right now because I am focused on what I need to do and I need you to understand that right now. Is that what you're saying today, Fire Signs? Hit the like button if that's you. The noble cougar, also called mountain lion or puma, is a totem of courage and confidence. Courage is a formidable, oh sorry, cougar is a formidable protector who will teach you to observe from the shadows and see the truth in silence. So pull back right now and just watch instead of speaking too much. Your intuition, hunches, and knowing will be enhanced by your cougar totem. You will sense the threats and avoid them. You are capable of seeing and securing sanctuary and abundance. All right, so focus on that today and don't let anybody take, a, take you off your path of that is what I'm feeling. You are, sorry, cougar people are often leaders with keen and decisive minds. You know how to inspire others, complete tasks, and set new goals. You may not be close to a lot of people, but you are a great encourager and loving friend to your inner circle, and that's how it should be. If cougar is new to your life, it means you are coming into your power. It could also mean it is a time to take a leap of faith and go for your desires. Move into a new territory, right? 
opportunities are at hand. With Cougar by your side, you will know better how to set boundaries and protect your precious energy and time so you can pay attention to what really matters. With powerful Puma, you will have grace, passion, and purpose. All right, well, let's see what are some contrary things to be aware of today. Have you been losing your temper and lashing out? You need time alone. Are you leaving things unfinished? Are you spending enough time to regenerate your strength in nature? Refocus and try again. So this is a don't give up energy. This is also about making sure that you complete things and don't leave them unfinished. Do you know what I mean? relationships or whatever they may be making sure that you're regaining your strength all right this is mercury retrograde you don't want to move out just yet you want to hold back you want to see what's going on so that you can make the right moves moving forward right and if people are getting you out of pocket if you will all right take a step back and breathe regroup this is really important right now all right so fire signs aries leo and sagittarius make sure you're using that fiery energy correctly by setting those boundaries perhaps those people that you need to in your life people that may be again pulling on your energy because i see you working all right or trying to but you have this Ace of Wands in reverse. You see that may be pulling on your energy, Aries. Is this the case for you today? Hit the like button if that's you. You are focused on getting your brand out. There is almost what I see with this Ace of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse there. So really needing to pay attention and keep our focus where it needs to be and cut out those people. All right, that need to be cut out so we can put all our focus, King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, on our floor and where it needs to be, where that focus really needs to be. Again, there may be people trying to pull you away to do other things, you know, to be focused elsewhere. Yeah, especially love, you know, that that's always seems to be the case when you're getting ready to embark on these big things, right? Aries, hit the like button if you resonate with this. You had the whole world before you, all right? You're at a new beginning. You're ready to move out. You're ready to do big things. And yet, you know, somebody wants you to make a decision, wants you to take another path. But you're at a point where I feel like you're not wanting to do that. You're not wanting to take your focus off of all that you've been building and all that spirit's helping you to build. So I feel like you're not making a decision at this time. You're holding back is what I see here today, Aries. Holding back your time and your energy is what this feels like to me because you have got all of your energy focused on what you're creating with this magician in the middle of everything. And in the upright is really good to see. Seven of Cups, again, somebody may be trying to confuse you or throw you off your game or get you, you know, um, unfocused or off your path, if you will, with this energy of love trying to come in. And you are using all of your strength today, it feels, to stay balanced, to not, you know, to be too fiery, but not be too meek at the same time. That lion and lamb energy and keeping that balanced, right? It takes a lot. Ten of swords. There may be a lot of people out there today where you're not sure if you can trust, you know? And you may need to turn your back on them because this is all about your legacy. This is all about what you're building within yourself as well as out in the world. So you don't want anybody interfering with that hierophant. Yeah, you're on a much higher path is what I feel here today. And Six of Cups energy is, you know, love is important, but not if it's not really what's important for you at this time to help you build what you need to. And I feel like that really could be possibly something that just kind of gets in the way of the moment because in the future is when we really need to be more concerned about that once we get all the pentacles in place, right? Not sitting here confused while we're in the middle of trying to, you know, focus on our work and do what we need to do basically. Let's clarify Aries today the world energy for you. Ooh, that literally like hit me almost in the eye. Spirit is really saying you've got to be truthful about what you have put an end to in the past. And you know, 
especially like making sure that death again coming out here that it stays ended because I feel like this causes you too much confusion whatever this is if you entertain it if you let it you know um, take your focus away from what you're doing yeah I feel like somebody's just trying to get in your head if you will and again cause you to take another path but I see you not willing to do that but at the same time being very confused you know and seeing perhaps that this person is giving you less and less overall because you're not putting the main focus on them. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. They want you to not be so focused, it feels like, or they are causing you to not be so focused and, you know, not standing up for yourself, not putting those boundaries in place so that spirit can help you to bring in that abundance, you know, that, and focusing on your own value and worth. You know, it's like... There are those people that really want to, again, keep you in the dark about things and only want to be focused on certain aspects of the relationship. But when it comes to autonomy, when it comes to focusing on yourself and building yourself, King of Wands, yeah, is constantly pulling on your energy. This is why you're pulling back is what I feel. This King of Wands in reverse, always causing misfortune in your life is what I feel. And confusion, the magician. Yep, blocking your energy. So you need to be aware of who you're connecting with. 1133, I just saw. Because this could be blocking your energy. It could be blocking your abundance. Absolutely, with that Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, Three of Wands in reverse, though. This is us, you know, not seeing our ships come in. Or maybe, you know, that's what somebody else doesn't want us to see. Us, our happiness. That Nine of Pentacles energy where we are by ourselves and doing well by ourselves, perhaps. And maybe that's the only way that we can do well is by ourselves. Seven of Cups. When we're not so focused on other people and things, but, you know, truly focused on ourselves and what's going to be our happiness, you know? When we turn away from our own balance and focus on other people and think that that's what's going to bring that for us, that's when, you know, everything gets unbalanced. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. That's not a happy home. That's one where you're not sure who you can trust. So this definitely seems like an enemy in the camp type of situation, Aries. Four of Swords coming out with the strength. This is definitely a time for you to pull back. Get your balance, you know, just like it was talking about with that cougar energy. Pulling back from... Those people that may be trying to hold you back. Regaining your power with that Ace of Wands, right? And taking the blindfold off with that Two of Swords in reverse. No longer confuse. Calming the seas, you know? Understanding things clearly. What's this Ten of Swords energy? Six of Pentacles. It's all about that equal give and take. And it just doesn't feel like that it's necessarily there. Or it's something that, you know, constantly leaves you up in your head or feeling like you're shortchanged kind of thing, you know? And I feel like this is something you truly have already seen with that hermit energy. And Spirit has shown you what you need to cut out with that Ace of Swords energy. So you can put your crown back on, King or Queen. All right. And have your Ten of Pentacles. What is this? And we have, yes, putting an end to the fantasy. This is how you get your Ten of Pentacles. Turn your back on that Knight of Cups in reverse who never really had anything real to offer, it seems, in the first place, Aries. All right. Hold back. You know what is best for Pentacles. All right. Move to those calmer waters. Turn your back once again. And allow yourself to learn those lessons and rise higher. Hit the like button and subscribe, Aries, if you're resonating with this message today. Get your focus right is what Cougar is saying. Put your boundaries in place that you need to against these people that do nothing but bring your energy down. And don't help you with your greater purpose. You know what I mean? All right, so your card coming out from the Lover's Oracle says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And you may have already learned your lessons from this particular situation, Aries, so it may be time to 
try something new. Blessings to you for your week ahead. Do hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I look forward to seeing you for another reading soon. And do check out the, um, if I didn't already mention it, I will have a live Zoom session for a priestess call, an oracle call, where you can ask questions of me. I am a priestess. I am an oracle. And I will answer questions that will mutually help the collective as well okay so do check that out on wednesday at 6 p.m i'll leave all the details below blessings and bye for now all right leo let's see what's going on for you today with this assertive and cougar energy definitely around love we got lovers coming out with the six of cups so this is all about you having boundaries perhaps in place with a current partner or one that you have just ended things with, All right? Or one that maybe try to come back. Who knows? Yeah, because we've got the full energy here. There could be somebody trying to take a leap of faith. Are you going to take a leap of faith, perhaps, in love today? Hmm. Nine of Swords coming out. Maybe you're a little shy. Once bitten, twice shy. Is that the kind of energy we have coming out here today for you, Leo? Hit the like button if that's you, because maybe you learned something and now you're ready to take a leap of faith with that page of swords and those light bulbs, right? And that full energy guys. Did you learn something that allowed you to be able to move forward today, Leo? Hit the like button if that's you and let's see what's coming out. All right, so crossing you, it looks like Nine of Wands. We're definitely holding the fort down, making sure that nothing gets past our boundaries is what this looks like. I get an energy of you have learned your lessons. Yeah, you balanced all that out. And so did Spirit, just so you know. Yep, you put an end to all the arguments, the power struggles, you know, the confusion and the back and forth everything that wasn't working out for you that you weren't able to have success with ace of pentacles yeah i feel like you're starting to see a lot more abundance in your life now since you've been focusing on yourself is what this feels like knight of pentacles in the middle of it all 17 17 8 8 that is all about balance infinity spirit is going to continue to bless you with abundance is what this feels like today leo with the Eight of Cups because of something perhaps that you walked away from that wasn't fulfilling you and you knew that you had to take a new journey and move in a different direction, right? Because something just really had you all up in your head or some person. We definitely don't want to let this kind of energy back in if that's the case because it looks like moving into the future, you've had the power to walk away, but somebody wants to come back. But it's not somebody that you feel that you can have any, you know, positive movement forward with, really. King of Cups in reverse, yeah. Definitely your heart is like, I'm not feeling it. The ship has sailed. This is a ship in here. That's not ships came in. This is ships have sailed. <laughs> All right, and then we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse on the bottom. This is not something that made you feel good when you were connecting with this particular energy. Yeah, left you depleted, just like hopeless and without any energy to even want to try, you know? This is why you ended up walking away, whatever this reason was. Somebody that you had a lot of arguments and now it feels like they're trying to come back in and give you the gaslight treatment about how wonderful everything is going to be, you know. Maybe they're even sending somebody else to talk to you, trying to stir up your emotions and get you going again, right? But you're like, nope, I'm over it. I don't have any time for this. Is that you, Leo? What is this justice part in the past? Yeah, justice for somebody that had you juggling that had that or was juggling and had you confused and up in your head constantly had your energy like all over the place i was here in 1919 so you had to make a decision again because somebody was being confusing something wasn't moving forward at a snail's pace turtle's pace right you saw the truth in the situation it's like i've seen this before five of wands in reverse 
I've seen where things are not moving forward, not working out with that Three of Pentacles in reverse. It does nothing but cause us to argue all the time. I'm over that. Yes, because, you know, it's like you're constantly arguing about things you don't even understand. And it's constantly pulling on your energy because you're like, why are we even arguing about these things? Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you definitely needed to get that all balanced out because, you know, you can't live in that space where things are constantly in upheaval. You're not having any wins. You're constantly having this situation where somebody feels like they need to be saved. 2020, yeah, you've seen what you needed to see, even though somebody, it seems like, still wants to try to keep the blindfold on. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. You had to turn your back on that toxic energy is what this looks like here with that devil in reverse. That was the only way that you were going to be able to move forward. You know, ace of swords in reverse was keeping you from your happiness, was keeping you from rising, all right, and being who you truly are. Knight of Pentacles, you knew you had to make a plan in a different direction to be able to see your ship come in because in this energy with this four of cups, the fish are all dead in the water. The cups are all turned over here. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, and that's you making that plan in a different direction, you know, going in a different direction. Again, the ship has sailed, all right? You are using your energy wisely now is what I feel with this strength card, and you are staying on that high vibe with that hierophant energy beautiful to see for you leo eight of cups what is this for us in the present energy eight of cups what are you walking away from yeah having to feel like you have to put your defenses up right like you can't trust this person that's coming in with this too good to be true knight of cups energy right you're ready to heal that's what i see with this star energy you're over all of that. But yeah, this person, it feels like, wants to come back in. Wants to try to show you that the ships are still there. They can still, you know, we can still work this out. Everything can still be good for us. And all you keep thinking about is how they left you out in the cold. This could have literally been a type of situation where somebody, you know, felt like that they... Um, had control over you, that they were everything for you, and so they didn't really treat you well. You know, they may have ghosted you even with that Five of Pentacles energy. What is this Three of Pentacles in reverse? Yes, you're definitely over working with any kind of energy that's third party, that's runner chaser, could have been narcissistic even. Hit the like button if that's you, Leo definitely injustice in this situation all right and spirit had to balance that tower out is what i see here today yeah no love here but again this person seems like they want to keep lurking around down there right while you're doing your healing process they're constantly watching you king of cups in the reverse we have walking away queen of cups in reverse yeah literally no love here you're turning your back from the masculine and feminine perspective from this person is what I feel today. You absolutely know your worth and value with that five of cups in reverse. You see the two of cups behind you. You're not crying over the situation any longer. You know your value and worth. No resurrecting this situation, absolutely. 2332, it's balanced out, five, five. You made your choice is what I feel today, Leo. All right, look up these numbers when I yell them out. They may be relative, relevant for you. Look up the angel number is what I mean to say when I say when I yell out these numbers I see on the timer as I'm showing you these cards because again, the messages may be relevant for you. What's the lover's oracle message coming out for Leo today? This is all about healing here, all right? This is all about you pulling back. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone, Leo. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So do focus on yourself, set those boundaries, and do what you need to do for you. Blessings for your week ahead. Do hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, again, check out the Oracle reading on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Arizona time. There's a live Zoom link that will be 
in the description box below that you can copy and paste so that you can join me. All right, let us get into a reading now, shall we, for Sagittarius. What is going on, Sagittarius? We got the Cougar, assertive energy coming out here today for you. Three of Cups with the Nine of Wands. You're holding back and celebrating, perhaps getting with friends today. You know, those people, friends and family, it doesn't have to necessarily be blood, you know? But you know who those people are that really support you. And it feels like you just got away from a situation, you know, um, perhaps uh, away from something that wasn't working towards something that is working better for you. Yeah, maybe you got some wisdom or some understanding today with that page of swords energy the light bulb went off you know what, I mean? what is going on for our sagittarians today show us clearly infinite spirit thank you crossing you is the four of swords in reverse do make sure that you're taking that time to really see what has happened in a situation 2552 for you coming out today seven seven choices that have been made and how spirit is here to assist you moving forward all right we have the hermit definitely holding back pulling back is what it looks like this energy in the past is really needing to go within and look at yourself all right and a situation perhaps with this cougar and assertive energy understanding perhaps something that you needed to end after you went within and was looking at something closely perhaps you were sitting back quietly and watching some situation unfold and you understood so that you could get out of there and move towards your ten of cups interesting this is beautiful energy already coming out for you today and you've got two major arcana in the upright and they're good cards seven of cups in reverse you're definitely not confused about love any longer maybe you have finally made a good choice in love put all of that worry behind you and learned your lessons all right with the nine of swords in reverse the moon there was something that you saw took all of the confusion away for you in the reverse ace of wands in reverse Wow, so maybe this could be a situation where this person could have been everything that you wanted, but caused you, yeah, there was confusion. This was a happy situation is what it feels like, but something happened and now you're no longer confused about it. Page of Cups. Maybe you're seeing that somebody was being half-assed in the situation and really wasn't giving fully to you the way you thought that they were, the way that they were projecting that they were. But you've decided you love yourself and you understand what's going to happen, what's going on. But definitely, this has been a hit on you, and do make sure that you're taking that time out to do the healing for yourself. Okay, Five of Cups. Yeah, don't be stuck in this energy. All right, don't stay hurt. This is an energy where we really do need to understand the situation for what it is and allow ourselves to move forward and be even more empowered to do that healing with the star coming out when I cut the card. You know, sometimes we just uh, don't always act in our highest energies. Um, we always hope that we are interacting with those that are but sometimes we need to look within ourselves and see where maybe we just weren't honest with ourselves about what would truly bring us happiness and how we can also improve within ourselves to improve the choices that we're making you know what i mean sagittarius what's the hermit energy for sagittarius coming out moving to calmer waters yeah you saw that you needed to move to calmer waters about a situation within yourself all right if nothing else within your mind within your heart because this is all about emotions as well as those lessons you know with the swords energy about seeing where to build where to invest all right where to put the work in if you will and you didn't hold back in this situation this was a situation i feel that really meant a lot to you sagittarius the world what is the world energy coming out death and confusion and love so you had to put an end to something that you really thought perhaps 
was everything to you, you know, this Ten of Cups energy. But there was injustice going on behind the scenes, I feel, that you were needing to balance yourself out from. I feel like I'm about to understand something much more clearly here, like somebody was being deceitful. This is you, I feel, standing up for your relationship, you know, being an honorable person, emperor in the upright. But behind the scenes, there wasn't something, there was something that wasn't quite right at home. All right? With this Four of Wands in reverse, the 1111 card. And that would be the uh, Twin Flame energy, too. Wow, somebody was definitely being deceitful. Enemy in the camp. Yeah, you weren't confused about, you know, who you loved, but somebody, the person that you loved was being deceitful, right? Sevens, balancing out the seven, that's very inter interesting. Page of Cups in reverse, somebody was not giving love or was definitely not moving, you know, yeah, ten of swords, because behind the scenes, they were actually causing all of this confusion. Nine of uh, swords in reverse, you're not worried about it any longer, but I have this feeling that it's really upset you. It's really got you all fired up. Yeah, you've turned your energy completely away from this person, this situation is what I feel. Yep, you are rising higher is what I feel. You are loving yourself with the Page of Cups, all right? Gabrielle has said, don't focus on this person. They're not worth your time and energy is what I'm hearing, Sagittarius. Moon in reverse, Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, don't even... Give your energy to this situation. Just understand what it is and move forward. Don't make any more plans moving forward with this person with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They are dishonest. Knight of Swords in reverse. What's this Ace of Wands in reverse? Yep, absolutely. They were just there to pull on your energy, take your money, perhaps. And, you know, this may be what they're trying to do even now. But you're focused on your cups behind you with that five of cups in reverse, which is really good to see. Turning your back, pulling your energy back, pulling your money back even perhaps with this king of pentacles in reverse, right? Two of pentacles in reverse. No longer juggling. Understanding completely that this was an imbalanced situ situation, excuse me, with that three of wands in reverse. This is a person that was not giving equally, all right? And this is a situation that you knew you couldn't grow with, magician in reverse, and was definitely pulling on your energy negatively. What is this page of cups? Page of cups, wow. And maybe somebody could have been given an offer. Maybe somebody is now giving an offer to somebody else where they can have more abundance and they're putting up their boundaries against this past person, which perhaps is gonna cause some conflict, Sagittarius. Hit the like button if that's you today. Just be aware you deserve happiness. And if this person is being nothing but deceptive, wow. And, and that's definitely what I was feeling with this energy too, to be honest with you. All right, give us a card today, please, for Sagittarius. We got cards flying everywhere. All right, coming out for you today, we have beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in another are qualities you both possess as well. Equally so, the qualities you do not like are also your own reflection. So make sure you're healing those moving forward so that we don't end up in these past type of relationship past life is what I was going to say um, but we don't go in these cycles 3355 I just saw transformation is also coming out saying your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things so this could be with this person or this could be a past person coming back perhaps even or you may be giving it another chance, perhaps, but you're gonna have to see and judge for yourself if you need to put these boundaries up 
and go in a new direction because your happiness is what's most important today, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me. Fire signs for your reading for this week. Do hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you soon for another reading. Bye for now.